we'll go with the bat. All right. Wait, wait, wait. I don't know if we heard it. What? What is it called? Luke goes to bat. Luke goes to bat by Rachel Isadora. All right. Illustrator and author, or just illustrator? It just says one thing. It was Brooklyn. It was summer. It was baseball. All day long, the kids on Bedford Avenue played stickball in the streets. What does Bedford mean? It's just a name. You can turn the page. Except for Luke. When you're older, his big brother Nicky told him. He's just a squirt, one of the other kids said, laughing. Okay, you can turn the page. So, Luke watched the games from the curb. And then he'd practice. He threw a ball against the wall next to the deli. He practiced his swing over and over again. He ran as fast as he could up and down the block. He wanted to be ready when it was time. Turn it. And at night, whenever the Dodgers were playing, Luke hurried up to the roof where he could see the lights of Ebbets Field. When he heard the crowd go wild, he imagined his favorite player, Jackie Robinson, hit a home run. Someday, Luke thought, I will hit a home run too. Turn the page, please. Take your hand out your mouth, button. Yeah, stop doing that, okay? Finally one morning, a team was short a player. Frankie had to go to his aunt's. Who are we going to get? Hey, said Luke. What about me? Everyone was quiet. Ah, uh, come on, said his brother. Give him a chance. We got nobody else. He better not mess up. They put him in left field. No balls came his way, so he just stood there. When it was his turn up at bat, Luke took a few practice swings then stepped up to the plate. I'll show them, Luke muttered. The ball whizzed past. Strike one. Luke held the bat higher. Strike two. Luke was barely in position when the next ball flew past the catcher, yelled out. Luke was barely in position when the Next ball flew past and the catcher yelled, out. Grandma was in the kitchen when he got home. I finally got a chance to play with the team, Luke told her. Grandma could tell that the game hadn't gone well. Not everyone plays like Jackie Robinson all the time, she said. Not even Jackie Robinson. Luke didn't smile. By the way, Grandma said, are you doing anything tomorrow night? Luke shrugged. Well, if you're so busy, someone else will have to go with me to the game at Ebbets Field. What? You mean a real game? Grandma held up two tickets. Go ahead and turn. Ebbets Field was ablaze with lights, but this time Luke didn't have to imagine the game. Thanks for taking me, Grandma, he said. They watched 
the Dodgers and the Phillies battle it out. The game went into extra innings. By the time the Dodgers got up to bat in the bottom of the 14th inning, the score was still tied 8-8. Eight to eight. With two outs, Jackie Robinson was up. The crowd roared. Come on, Jackie, Luke yelled. The pitcher threw a curveball. Jackie swung. Strike one. The umpire called. The pitcher round up. He threw a fastball and Jackie missed. <laughs> Strike two. Strike two. Three balls followed. All eyes at Ebbets Field were on Jackie. The Dodgers could still win. All right, turn the page. <laughs> anyway. Luke shouted with the crowd, Give it to him, Jackie. You show him. Jackie looked around from under his cap, then dug his feet into the dirt. The pitcher began his wind-up. You can do it, Jackie, Luke whispered. You can do it. Yep. Suddenly, Luke heard the loud crack of the bat. When he looked up, the ball was flying over his head, flying over the scoreboard, flying over the walls of Ebbets Field. The crowd went wild. Luke stood up in his seat and cheered. You showed him, Jackie. What a game, Grandma said. See, you can't give up. Even Jackie Robinson's got to keep trying. Luke didn't answer. When Luke got home, he ran up to the roof. The lights were going out at Ebbets Field. Come on down, it's bedtime, Nikki called. Just then Luke saw a ball lying on the ground. Look, he said, picking it up. This is the home run ball that Jackie Robinson hit tonight. Nah, that's just some old ball a kid hit up on the roof, Nick said, laughing as he went downstairs. Is it the end yet? And that's when Luke saw him. It was Jackie Robinson himself. I hit that one for you, kid. Before Luke could say a word, Jackie ran to the dugout to join the other Dodgers. But he looked back one more time. Okay. Hey, kid, he said. Your grandma was right. You can't give up. Thanks, Mr. Robinson. The final lights went out at Ebbets Field. Luke looked down at the winning ball and smiled. I won't, he whispered to himself. And he didn't. So what does that mean, he didn't? He didn't what? Um, give up. He didn't give up. And look what he's doing now. What's he doing now? Hitting the ball. Now he's hitting it. That's right. So, what's the lesson there? Not to give up. Not to give up. You get frustrated when you try something and it doesn't work out? Oh, yes, I'm a fairy. How long did it take you? Put it back down. How many tries did it take you to learn to ride a bike? Uh, 15 cuts. <laughs> 15 cuts. 40, 40 flip overs. 40 flip overs. And, and 13, five, 35, no, not 35, 50 tries. 50 tries? Yep. So a lot of tries. 
So now I know how to ride a big, big, big bike. Right. Do you think my, you'd... My first one was a tricycle, mm -hmm. now a bicycle, and mm -hmm. now a big, like, seven-year-old bike. Do you think you'd be able to do that now if you gave up when you fell the first time you tried? No. Or the first five times you tried? No. Yeah. Sometimes it's hard to keep going, but it just shows you if you don't give up, you'll make it happen, right? Mm-hmm. All right. Say bye to the people. Thanks for reading with us today. Bye.